Hello! Next up on our Sampleverse video tutorial series, we'll take a look at the LFO. LFO stands for Low Frequency Oscillator. LFOs run much slower than sound generating oscillators and are normally used to modulate synth parameters. You can add an LFO to Sampleverse by pressing the Add button here, and you can access the LFO controls in the Edit section. In the LFO Master section, you can adjust the gain of the LFO. This will control the range and amount of the LFO's modulation. You can adjust the LFO's speed here. When the quantize is turned on, the LFO will be synced to the song's tempo, and the trigger section will allow you to choose when the LFO will play. The trigger function can be set to play when the sequencer begins, when a note is played, only when the arpeggiator is engaged, or only when the first note of a sequence is played. In the LFO menu, you can save, open, or remove an LFO from your patch. Each LFO can have up to five wave shapes that can be combined to create more complex modulation shapes. In the controls for each wave shape, you'll find many options to craft your modulation. You can adjust each shape's gain and phase separately, here. The period parameter controls how long it takes for the wave shape to complete its cycle. This can be set from 16th notes to four bars. The length parameter controls how much time will be given before the LFO loops. This can be set from a half note to eight bars. The grid size setting sets the timing for the LFO's step function. The step function allows you to create gain changes throughout the length of the LFO. This greatly increases the functionality of the LFO, allowing you to make many different complex wave shapes by changing every step of the LFO. Once you have crafted your LFO to your liking, you can route it to any sample verse parameter marked with an asterisk. Once you have routed an LFO to a parameter, you can click on it again in this menu to open up the modulation settings. In the modulating settings, you can control the amount of modulation, adjust the start time with the shift parameter, invert the signal, or remove the routing. Thanks for checking out our Sampleverse video tutorial series. In our next video, we'll be taking a look at the oscillator section.